Hey, it's Kingston JL Michaels and it's No Makeup Sunday. I already did one No Makeup Sunday video, so right now I'm just gonna do specifically a hair review for the Euler hair that I'm wearing right now. Um, it is the 350 Orange Ginger Deep Wave. I have 150 density. Um, I was a little nervous about that because I know 180 is like the ideal, but generally um, I'm new to wigs. So I try to keep my budget for synthetic wigs uh, between $30 to $50, and I try to keep my human wig budget under $200. So I think this came, I think this is about $184 with like a discount or something. And it's 20 inches. So um, when I did my original No Makeup Sunday video, I totally forgot to say that um, I had this hair on my birthday weekend. I've already washed it one time, and actually I made a mistake when I first washed it when I first washed it I forgot to um, kind of comb out starting from the ends to um, comb out the hair and then I had already put shampoo on it so I was freaking out and then I remembered what I would normally do if, if it was my hair I was like I'm gonna do some serious deep conditioning so I put some deep conditioner in there if you make this mistake it's okay because your you layer wig is going to be on point no matter what so what I did is I put the deep conditioner in and then I used either, you can either use like a big like wig brush or a wide tooth comb and start from the ends and then slowly, slowly start to like kind of comb it out a little bit. And then I let it sit for at least about 30 minutes in the deep conditioner. And uh, I had no problems. Of course with deep wave hair, you're gonna get some shedding. You're gonna get shedding with curly hair no matter what. There is shedding, not that much, especially for someone who forgot to comb out the wig before washing it. Not that much shedding. I love the color. As you can see, the deep wave just brought back the vibrant waves into it. Look at this, look at this. Okay, boom. And um, as I said before on my first video, the lace to me was like the best out of all the wigs. So far I've tried wigs from Sam, Sam's Beauty, Love, Love Me Hair, I've had um, hair spells, mega look, um, and now you layer. And I have loved all of them in different ways, but as far as getting a wig and it just kind of lays the way how you want to, you layer is where it's at. As a matter of fact, my brother Junior got me this very same wig uh, in the like cherry red. So I should be getting that. He got it for my birthday, so I should be getting that by Tuesday so hopefully I'll do a little review on that when I get it too. Uh, so I'm a beginner at this whole wig game because of COVID so I'm still learning how to cut the lace. I had some issues when I first put it on my sister told me that my wig was like right above my eyebrow like right here so she was really trying to clown me. By the way she's the one videotaping. Hey sis! Hey! Okay. Um, so I had to learn how to position my wigs and wigs are a lot different from frontals and I'm starting to learn. I do know how to lay it down as far as um, putting glue and stuff down, but obviously I have to watch the placement of my wig. So on the Sunday, I cut the lace a little further and then I kind of laid it down and then it was like boom, bang, boom. Um, one of the things I want to say about if you're a ginger and you want to be a ginger and you're a black woman, I had some concerns because, you know, I'll see people in the ginger hair and I'm like, I don't know if my complexion is, is it going to work. I'm a chocolate woman and I want to tell you guys that I love being a chocolate woman that's a ginger right now. Remember when it comes to hair color, it has a lot to do with your features. Black women have some of the most diverse and beautiful features to ever walk the face of this earth. So don't be afraid to take risks. Y'all know if you've been following me with the lipsticks and all that, that I do just whatever I feel like. So um, if you're a darker skinned woman and you think this may not be your thing, give it a try, sis. It's really affordable and it may just pop the way how you want to. And also if you're a lighter skinned woman, it doesn't mean that everything you try is gonna work for you. You gotta think about it. Features and, and uh, skin tone, the makeup you wear, how you dress it up. Normally I would be in full makeup, but since it's no makeup Sunday and I'm generally always wearing a mask, there was no point today. But I'm still giving you full, full 150 density ginger. Okay, I'm still giving you all of that, okay? So I wanna tell you guys, I love this hair. Like I said, minimal shedding, really easy to place down and cut the lace. I don't have a wig head yet, so I've been cutting my lace just off of how I feel like I wanna place it. 
and you'll figure out what's good for you too. Like I said, if you're new to the wig game because of everything that's happening with COVID, do not be deterred. There's a lot of beginner videos like mine that's gonna give you some tips. So you layer, and that's you, that's E-U-L-L-A-I-R. I hope I'm saying that right, you layer. Um, is definitely a company to check out. They always have some good discounts and you can also check them out on Instagram and YouTube for reviews um, that are just like mine. All right, I wanna give my sister a shout out for letting me give you guys some like outside vibes out here, okay? In the Northeast, cause you know I rep Jersey all day, every day in Jamaica too, okay? So um, I hope you guys are having a blessed weekend. I know a lot's going on in the world, a lot of racial injustice stuff going on. Shout out to all the people on the front lines. Shout out to the people donating. Shout out to the people who are just prayed up. Shout out to the people that always believed in racial equality. That's what's up. All right, I'm out and it's a really short review and I hope you guys will follow my YouTube channel, my Instas, my Facebooks. Let me know what you wanna see me in next, but you know that Cherry Red is about to come on and popping very soon. One love.